The Congressional Black Caucus Foundation has always been about empowering the African American community. And this year, they're giving you the tools to address critical issues of importance to blacks. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum, and I'm joined by Shanice Washington, President and CEO of the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation. Shanice, welcome to the program. Thank you, Robert. So the Congressional Black Caucus has always been this powerful organization here in Washington, D.C. It's a bunch of African-American elected officials here in Washington that band together in the 1970s to create a caucus to advance the empowerment of African-Americans. Historically, uh, that group has uh, had this weekend, if you will, where uh, individuals of color, but non-individuals of color, can come to Washington to learn about what? They can learn about, and I, I will start by saying it's embodied in our theme. It starts with you. And let me mm. make the distinction. We are the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation. And our theme is based on the premise that an individual, one person, can be the positive change that they want to see in their community. So we have over 70 issue forums, several networking opportunities based uh, discussing wealth creation, business, health and wellness. And the notion is that individuals from around the country will come participate, learn, understand what's going on in terms of public policy, and then take that back to their communities to help make a positive difference and impact. So it's about empowering one individual. One individual can make a difference. Absolutely. Taking that, that knowledge here in Washington, D.C., going back to your community and making the, the change in your community. Absolutely. The Congressional Black Caucus Foundation, you know, there, there are three things that we essentially focus on, education, economic empowerment and development, as well as public health. Uh, we essentially exist to eliminate disparities within the African-American community. And we're most well known for our work in the education arena through our fellowship, internship, and scholarship programs. But part of what I'm committed to under my leadership is building on our economic empowerment and development platform. You mentioned uh, the, 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 the weekend, if you will, that happens on September 24th through September 27th, yes. right here in Washington, D.C. Can you please tell our viewers how they can get involved? Uh, is there a cost associated with it? Is it open to the general public? Absolutely is, and I would encourage your visitors to please visit us at cbcfinc.org, and there is information with regards to various registration packets. Uh, it also lists a uh, schedule of events, and the conference actually starts on a Wednesday. So Wednesday, and we culminate on Saturday evening with uh, our awards dinner. You know, this is such great information because when you go to conferences, oftentimes, no disrespect to conferences out there, mm -hmm. you get a free bag, you know, you get a nice dinner, but there's no tangible, at least very few tangible uh, actual things that you can do when you go back to your home communities. But it sounds like this is much, much different in terms of transferring the knowledge back into the community. Absolutely. Our annual legislative conference represents the largest platform through which we deliver against our mission, which is developing leaders, informing public policy, and educating the public. So it sounds like a bunch of smart people inviting other smart people to sit down and talk about big things, uh, because when you take a look at the uh, unemployment rate in the black community, uh, when you take a look at student loan debt, when you take a look at the struggle of HBCUs, we, we've come a long way. Here it is 2014, but there's still a long way to go. 30 seconds. There's exactly a long way to go, and eliminating disparities is critical to our mission, and it's exactly why we are, in terms of our economic development program and platform, offering sessions and discussions with regards to financial literacy, wealth creation, and building, because it is important. It's not enough just to have a good education. You've got to be able to create jobs and or have access to a job, as well as access to good public health. We've got a few seconds left very quickly. Since this is the 50th anniversary of the civil rights uh, piece of legislation, um, anything around that? Oh, absolutely. We've got a new t uh, town hall which will take place on Thursday, uh, and it's one of our largest events where we discuss public policy Diverse forum, be there. All right, there you have it. <laughs> and thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.